What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to volume four of my Ultimate Knife Mods series and community contest. If you don't know what's going on, uh, I'm holding a contest uh, where members of my viewing community can submit their modded knives uh, for this contest. And then also that very same community can turn around and vote for their favorites. I have a playlist uh, with all of these, obviously volume one through four are in that playlist. If you wanna go back and watch and vote, it's worth voting because just by voting, you're entering to win a cool prize at the end of all of this. And those of you who submit uh, your modded knives, uh, you are also competing for a prize at the end of this. I thought uh, this would be fun. So far, you guys seem to really like it. Uh, how do we enter? What's What are all the details? Actually, right at the top of the description of this video uh, is the original vi video for this series that explains the entire contest. It explains the uh, all the rules and everything. There are definitely... Um, you know, instructions to follow if you want to submit something. So uh, take the time to watch that video if you want to submit your own modded knife into this contest. There's only one volume left after volume four. Uh, we'll do volume five. And then the winners of each of the volumes will uh, all be included in the final volume six where we will all vote for a final winner. So pretty cool. This has been a lot of fun. You guys have submitted a lot of stuff. I have done my best to break this up and show you guys different things. I do have to tell you guys though, about 65% of what I'm receiving are Spyderco knives. It's just how it is. It's totally understandable because that's mostly what people mod. So I'm trying to break this up and show you guys different things. There's just a lot of, you know, across the volumes, there's just a lot of Spyderco knives. Thank you to all the people who have entered, though. It's been really fun. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon down below as well. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Um, definitely, definitely needing more entries for Volume 5. I have run out of entries to look over, and I'm looking for some new stuff. So if you have a cool modded knife... Make sure that you watch that first video and submit me, uh, submit uh, your awesome mods to me. So starting off here is one that I included because I'm a huge fan of the Wii Malice. I kind of feel like it's a massively underrated knife and I wish we would bring it back. Um, this is like a titanium frame lock version of the Spyderco Shaman and the, um, I've always said that the, um, uh, the standard one, just the regular stonewashed titanium one, was a blank canvas for modification. Obviously, somebody finally decided to do one. I had not seen a modified Wii Malice up till this point. Hand rub, uh, satin finished blade, which is cool. Looks like they probably maybe did that themselves or maybe sent it off. I'm not really sure. Uh, and then they acid etched it, which is interesting. I think this picture has some filters on it. And then there's a polished entropic handle finish, which I'm sure many of you have seen. Um, I've got a buddy named Scott who has a lot of knives with this polished entropic finish and it's cool. It sort of looks like liquid magic <laughs> all over the knife. Um, and these are great pictures. You know, there's nothing wrong with them, but it's not doing the finish justice. This is really cool. And it's one of those that I'd love to see in person because this is a big, thick, it's already a, you know, a pretty big, aggressive knife. And so I figured, you know, in person, this must look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, by the way, if you're going to vote, I found out the site that I use does not like numbers. So for the first three volumes, I get to go back and manually count the votes. So when you are voting, uh, let me give you a bad example of how to vote. I liked number five, but then I liked number three, but I settled on number two and you you know so you include multiple votes and you include all the actual numbers don't do that the best way to vote first of all watch the whole video and then go back and make your comment something like i vote for number three um, but type out the word t-h-r-e-e -E, so that the sorting website that i use for the comment section can actually identify your vote um, please spell out the number instead of just typing it. That would be fantastic and it would really make my work a lot easier. So anyways, this for example would be number one. Uh, is there another picture? Yeah, one more. They included uh, this finish on the backspacer as well, which is really cool. I think it looks neat. Um, so, and you can check out his, oh no, he has no Instagram. Okay, um, just an entry, that's cool. Moving on here, ah, this one really, <laughs> This is crazy. This is a CJRV crag. <laughs> Man, it's just like, it's totally transformed. 
It's got a thumb hole, uh, flipper delete, which is really cool uh, because the flipper is totally in the way on this knife. Carved and dyed scales, love it. Satin hand rub faux sand mai etched blade, right? So it's what he's saying is it's not a full sand mai or, you know, sand mai is your core steel and then your jacketed steel, right? Um, he's So he's got an acid etch making it sort of look like that, which is cool. I appreciate that because you can't get a sand mai CJRB crag. Instagram is uh, at Ron Steel Design. This is gorgeous and a great example of how you can take something like a budget knife because I'm pretty sure the CJRB crag is like 40 bucks and just turn it into something really cool for probably not that much money. I This is a really cool mod that probably hardly cost anything to do, and it looks spectacular. It really does. This is really, really cool. <laughs> I did, This one jumped out at me immediately. Um, I had, I don't think I had picked up any yet for volume four, and I didn't even, I kind of like put some in, in the bank, so to speak. I'm like, yeah, I'll keep that one in mind. This one immediately went into the folder. I was like, that's just, that's just really cool. So yeah, if you want to vote for this one, that would be number two, T-W-O, please. <laughs> uh, that would make everything much easier. Very cool. So moving on here to number three. Wow. Yeah. Big fan of this one. Uh, this is obviously the Spider Coast Shaman. The blade is acid etched and tiger striped and stonewashed. Uh, they deleted the nub. That will be helpful for some people. Um, they choil add. Oh, I can see there. Yeah, there is a. Surely we can zoom in. <laughs> they added a little sharpening choil there. Ah, that's cool. That's a, that's a mod that I can get on board with. Uh, done by him. So this gentleman did it all himself. Uh, the handle uh, scales are the stock scales, but he added some texturing. Very cool. And the screws are gray titanium uh, off of Etsy. Screw for you. Okay, well, there you go. If you've been wanting some titanium uh, hardware for your Spyderco Shaman, apparently you can get it on Etsy. Uh, that is super cool. Yeah, I was a big fan of this one. Um, not, this is, you know, it's obviously got an MXG deep carry clip on there too. Yeah, I guess it says down there. Um, but not, you know, but th there's a lot going on. And then, then again, it wasn't that big or crazy of a mod, but it changed the look of the Shaman enough where, you know, you can, you see this and you're like, wow, you know, that's completely and totally different. I kind of like a subtle, I'm a big fan of a monochromatic look. So this one jumped out at me. I'm, I'm obviously a big fan of the Shaman and I had some other Shaman mods that I thought were, you know, some of them were incredibly complicated. Um, but I just didn't, I wasn't really big into the o overall theme. That's the thing getting into this contest or getting selected has no nothing to do with how much money you spend, how complicated or diverse the modification is. It's, you know, it, for me, it's like, does this all go together, right? Does the tiger stripe kind of go with what looks to me almost like tiger claw marks um, in the uh, scale, in the scales here? And I thought, yeah, you know, it does. It kind of, it's like worn and beat up and kind of like jungle knife, you know? I, I thought it was cool. So, um, this would be, uh, what do we at here? Is this, we surely we're on number, uh, four. Is that the case? Let's go back. No, we're on, um, number one and then number two. So this would be number three, T H R E E. Did I mess that up? I'm sorry if I did. The CJRB crag would be number two, T W O. The malice of course would be number one, O N E. And the spider co shaman here, the jungle shaman, as I'm going to call it, uh, would be number three, T H R E E. Sorry, that's very, as if you guys don't know how to spell three. Moving on here, another Spyderco that I very much liked. Very, very, very much liked. Spyderco Smock Instagram is uh, at Front Sight Post. The scales are Metan Boss. I've heard that name a lot. Um, I think I think this person's becoming kind of famous for doing some pretty extravagant, at least Spyderco scales, maybe other things. Uh, Alien Anno. Tie alien and I love that. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Clip is Met and Boss Alien Anno Tie, which we'll take a look at here in a second. Uh, the hardware blades we love blue tie. Uh, the blade is Gecko Customs Rock Grind, which I like. That's neat. Uh, it definitely does look like a blade that was carved out of you know a rock. Uh, acid, acid, <laughs> acid. Acid hand wash. 
Uh, liners are Gecko Customs Acid, which are also hand washed. We're going to take a look here. Look at that pocket clip. Beautiful. The clip is Metan Boss Alien No Tie, uh, matching the uh, scales, which I think we talked about on the front side there. And we get to look at, it's kind of hard to see <coughs> the liners, but yeah, I imagine the liners are done the same way. This is beautiful. Very cool. Um, sort of ancient alien kind of theme, which is neat. I like that. <laughs> it's almost like a relic of the past made by future tech, right? Kind of cool. I like that one. So, uh, I don't know, the alien smock here. Uh, which is going to be number four, F-O-U-R, if you want to vote for this one. I thought this one was very cool. Make sure you check out front side post. And then finally, it's kind of a different deal here. This was a custom knife that was renewed or redone. This is a Casey Gray no-name flipper. This is Sierra Bound, right? You guys probably know him as the gentleman who keeps sending me all of the incredible museum quality knife pieces. This is very beautiful, right? <coughs> it looks like we've obviously got some Timascus going on here or possibly Zircotai or at least Zirconium Timascus or Black Timascus, whatever you call that. I'm not 100% sure here. Uh, oh yeah, it says Anno Black Tie. So that'd be Zirconium Infused Timascus, which I love. And that's Sierra underscore Bounds Fault for making me love, I, I love that how that looks more than like the standard time mask is. Uh, frame reship, chamfered edges, uh, polished it. Uh, they anodized the black titanium, uh, the black time mask is, anno black tie, wait. Anno black tie. He must mean anno black time mask is. I think that's the case. In any, in it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then they tuned the action and um, this was the before and after Wow. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty impressive because it just, I don't know what the story is with this knife originally, but yeah. So who did this? Knife Modders. Eh, you guys know them as Lindy Lou and Richie B, and I should have said their names on Volume 3 because they also, one of their own entries was in Volume 3. Um, but uh, yeah, wow. They completely restored I mean it just it looks like a bad you know a bad attempt at a custom knife which I'm sure it wasn't originally I just don't know the full story on this but what it became is gorgeous very very beautiful I mean the work that they did is spectacular so yeah uh, this was done by um, knife modders so I'm just realizing you know if this wins, then how do we do that? Do we award knife modders or do we <laughs> award Sierra Pound? I don't know. I know them all, so I'm sure we can work it out. But yeah, I had to include this one. This was really cool. So this is number five. The, I guess this would be a resto mod. So yeah, very cool. Guys, that's going to do it for uh, Ultimate Knife Mods Volume 4. This has been really fun. I haven't done a series in a while. I have done various series in the past and they all have their own playlists. So you can check those out uh, as well as this one here, the Ultimate Knife Mods series. So be sure to check out the previous uh, volumes and go back and vote because this is one of those where you can actually vote multiple times and uh, it's counted. Not multiple times in the same video, but I mean you can vote once for volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, make sure you go back and watch uh, and figure out, you know, your favorites and vote, um, because we're going to tally everything up at the end. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe, because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.